What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> uh, it's literally half five on a Monday morning. I'm just about to go to the gym. Made me on a little tripod at the metro station. Uh, so yeah, so today's video is just going to be all of my Bible. So if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me, uh, link is in the description and at the end of this video. Uh, so every morning before I go to the gym, I put a story on talking about at least one verse or quote from the Bible and um, giving you obviously a verse and a quote and and just what the mean what it means to me and how I see it and what it means you know if that makes sense uh, so yeah so that's what I do every morning and it comes out as a real obviously uh, most night times as well so what today's video is is from last Monday to this Monday well, because I do, because I only do it for five days for the early mornings, because I wake up five days early. We'll probably change to six this week if this cold goes away. It's, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, to be fair, which is good, good sign, because then that means I can do proper cardio without feeling like I'm gonna die. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's what today's video is. Just from Monday to Friday, and today's Monday, just the clips of the Bible's quotes and me talking of it. A different style, because obviously I know a lot of my. Uh, subscribers i don't know if any of them are christian or or religious i'm gonna keep switching it up though i'm not gonna have every day where it's just clip after clip after clip every monday um sometimes it'll change if i've got a new video idea out but at least one of the monday wednesday friday uploads will be the bible talk um and there will always be about five or six clips in it depends i am freezing right now you can't really see my hands because the light is shit but i cannot feel anything it's so cold it's minus one in newcastle but um yeah so i hope you enjoy the video well it's fucking 22 minutes past five in the morning so good morning everyone uh on the way to the gym it's a new week new goals and your ambitions start waking up earlier etc already passed a runner so he's dedicated just as you should be too head to the gym for a bit of a circuit session cardio type session but added the circuit they'll be back there again tonight for my back session uh, just want to quickly come on and share something with you something from the bible uh, Ephesians 1 of 7 it says I literally already forgot it and I literally just ran up before I left the house it was a uh, something about forgiveness I can't remember the full on quote I will put it on the text but on the Instagram story it's about forgiveness saying that you are free and God does forgive you. So say last week you had a really bad week. You didn't do things you were meant to. You are forgiven. But don't forget that just because you are forgiven doesn't mean you are not going to change it. Change what you did last week. I don't know if you can read now because of the wind. The moon's still out. The stars are out. Everywhere. There's no cars about. No people. And I'll head to the gym. Change what you did last week. Keep fucking grinding. Back with the early morning workout, second day. I want to come on and share another Ephesian quote from the Bible. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling and slander. Any form of malice. Now that is massive for me. Um, I'll actually I'll put the text in because I think I've got a few words wrong there. But getting rid of that negativity in your life, the people that... <coughs> the people that put you down, the people that don't want you to do well, the people, etc. It is important to get rid of all negativity. Now, I don't mean negative motivation, I pride on negative motivation, but getting rid of all that negativity, people that put you down, people that don't believe in you. Because getting rid of all of that will create positive energy, believe me. Day three, early morning workouts. Uh, another. Christian, uh, not Christian, sorry, quote from the Bible, Hebrew 2 3. How can we escape if we neglect so great salvation? By those who heard, by those who heard the Lord commend to us along them lines. I'm not perfect with <laughs> remembering how that resonates with me and so many other people is how do you expect to be great? If you're neglecting the signs that are right in front of you, you need to realize the signs in front of you. Let God tell you where it is, and 
you just trust yourself and trust in God to get to where you need to be. Having that salvation is our everyone's end goal. So listen to what God's telling you and just keep pushing. Day four, it's a lot colder the day. But uh, day four, another Bible quote. For it was fitting by for whom, by whom, for all things exist. All founders of their salvation through pain and suffering. Along them lines, like I say, I'm always terrible at remembering it. But it's talking about finding salvation through suffering. Now I can resonate with that so much. Because it, if things are meant to be easy, you're meant to go through pain and suffering and hard graft and hard pain to get to where you need to be. Things are meant to be easy. You have to go through the hardest of shit to get to where you need to be. And if that means enduring pain to get where you need to be, it means enduring pain. Nothing comes easy. It's a lot more windy this morning, a lot more colder. I have woken up more ill than I was at the start of the week somehow. Uh, my head is killing. But anyways, uh, another Bible quote today, day five. Uh, Timothy 1.7. Well, God has not given us fear and timidity, timidity but love, uh, but love, power, and self-discipline. I know I've got power and self-discipline. Uh, love the wrong way. That is literally what I've used today. Power, self-love, self-discipline to get up and school the gym. Day six took the weekend off, kind of. <laughs> uh, it's a lot colder this morning, but obviously you know what it is, straight away Bible stuff. Um, Jeremiah 22, 22 I think it is. For the plants I have for you, declares the Lord. For the plants I choose to not to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope in the future. Like I say every single time. It's terrible at remembering, even though I've just read it. It's a lot colder. The workouts have changed this week. So, in the morning doing cardio and uh, body weight stuff and then the session on the night time. The reason why I love this quote from the Bible is because it just shows that God is has got a plan and a future for you. You just have to not quit, have to trust his word and have to believe in God that you will. But just to add on to it, God does have a plan. It's easy he's literally got a plan for you and everyone has a date with destiny. But it's all about if you are willing to chase for that plan. There's loads of people that are like, why is God not listening to me? Why is God not giving me that life that I think I deserve? And that's the same person that's worked nine to five, four to four to five, uh, nine to five for like 20 years of their life. You have to chase it. You have to be different. You have to go through great stuff. If something's hard, most people will quit. Just don't quit. Yeah, so that was obviously all the Bible quotes and stuff like that. So... I hope he's enjoyed it. I hope it motivates you, inspires you a little bit. Maybe gets you a bit more interested. If you're not Christian, maybe gets you a bit more interested in the Bible, etc. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Obviously, don't forget to use code JGRIFFIN10. Link in the description. We have got a massive, massive um, next couple of months coming for AGL Labs. We've got pump covers coming in. We've got more hoodies coming in. More stringers, tank tops. The new mango guava flavor some power endurance i'm going to talk about this in a video um probably wednesday's video or a little video to um either on my instagram story or just a little short video for youtube tomorrow or thursday um because there's loads of stuff that can be stuck in etc so it's going to be it's going to be absolutely class um Obviously, with it being an American brand, it's hard for me to get much other than just my stringer. So, as soon as them pump covers come out, I'm making sure I've got money in there getting bought straight away. Um, yeah, so obviously, don't forget to use the code. Uh, obviously, yeah, we use code JGRIFFIN10. I will obviously keep us updated when all that comes out, etc. Don't forget to follow all the socials, which are in your bottom left corner. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, put the bell notifications on so you know when I, uh, when I upload, etc. And yeah, I will see you for Wednesday's video.